Do you want to use your drone to make an overhead map, a full aerial view of a large area? We're not talking about flying up really high and making a single picture. We're talking about taking a bunch of pictures and combining them together to make one big, pretty, big picture. So today I'm going to show you how you can take all these drones, any drone really, and make a big overhead map of any area. This is great for offering to clients, offering it to people that you work for, or maybe your company needs to kind of keep track of data. You can with all of these different drones. And for the majority of this video, I'm going to be using the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I'm going to be automating this so it automatically flies the mission for me, automatically takes the pictures, and I'll even show you how to create all this. Also keep in mind the tools I'm going to show you today are entirely free for you to use if you're learning. So let's hop into it. Let's get started. I'm going to pick out an area and we're going to fly a mission and I'm going to be using again this drone to do that. So let's hop over the computer real quick and get planning. Real quick before we get started we should also start by doing something on the controller and that's just adjusting the visual settings on this. Because the drone is flying along like such it's going to be looking down, there's going to be a lot of movement. We want to make sure that the shutter speed is as short as possible so there's the least amount of motion blur. Also, fun fact, Nick will be updating you all for any of you interested in the Any Drone RTK module, but we have our production boards or pre-production boards back. So um, if you're interested in getting RTK for your Mini 4 Pro or any drone for that matter, um, the Any Drone RTK module has pre-orders available and uh, we're making progress on that. Also, if you have any wide-angle lenses, wide-angle lenses do really good for collecting a wider range. So I would highly recommend if you're new to this and you have wide-angle lenses, they're a great way to make it a little bit more forgiving when you're doing this. So we want to make sure that our drone settings are set to pro. We want to make sure that the shutter is as reasonably low as possible. Obviously, when we're, we're in the dark room right now, but when we get outside, it will be a little bit more brighter. We want to make that as bright as possible. Uh, within having the shutter speed as slow as possible. So this is a millisecond right now, which is really good. The drone's not going to move that much in that period. And uh, you can adjust all these settings accordingly. So now we don't want to actually manually control the drone as we fly this. This would be very time consuming. It would be about like 30 some minutes that you'd have to manually fly the drone in a very precise way, taking pictures every couple seconds. So instead we automate this. Um, my drone, specifically the Mini 4 Pro, the Air 3, and the Mavic 3 family, actually allow you to automate this. Um, and this is with a tool that I wrote called Waypoint Map. I'm just going to set that up real quick, and then after which, we're going to see what the results are after we fly it. If you don't have one of those drones, you may want to look for additional flight planning software for your drone specifically, or you might just have to tough it out and manually fly it yourself. You'll see how I take the pictures and how I plan to take the pictures here. I want to take a map of this really cool baseball field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and fly my drone over it. I'm going to use some of the paid features to generate every single point. And I also want, okay, generate. And now it's going to go through and take all these pictures um, from an altitude of about 60 meters. And then um, we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the KMZ file. Um, I'm going to load this up. Actually, I need to plug in my controller real quick. This KMZ installer will be available shortly. Um, I'm having a little bit of issues making sure that it's not uh, spitting out a bunch of virus warnings whenever you try to install it. There we go. And we're good to go. So now we'll fly this mission and take all these pictures. So while this flies and takes all these pictures, I'm going to kind of explain the general theory of what we're doing here. So the goal is to pretty much take a bunch of pictures that have just enough overlap that they can be stitched together so that when you take a bunch of these pictures, they can be connected to the ones above it and directly adjacent to it. That way, the final image is basically all those smaller images put together in one larger one, therefore giving the appearance that it's higher up but also at a higher quality than the, what would be possible if it was just your single drone taking a single picture at once. So now you want to head over to aerialmodel.com. This is what's going to allow you to compile all these images together in order to create an overhead map. You can take up to 100 images for free, um, and you can do that like five times a week. So for the average person, this will be more than enough and you basically just go through and you'll upload all the images like you normally would 
Uh, it will take all those images and compile them up into an overhead map. It actually does this to some degree of accuracy in that it will be about a centimeter per pixel so that when your final image is done, your final map is done, it will be relatively accurate. Also, if you're interested, you can actually do 3D models as well. So if you're interested in just doing a 3D model instead of just a map, um, you can actually do that as well. That's got a smaller amount of images, um, but if you do the dedicated overhead map setting, it will allow you up to 100 images five times a week. So after I loaded up all the pictures here, I got presented with this very pretty model which as you may notice is very, very square. Um, so say for example, something like this, which is I believe on the Mini 4 Pro, um, something like this, which is very circular, it collects a lot of extra data. This is very square. Um, obviously you're taking these pictures straight down, so you're very focused on collecting that data and not so much about the quality of everything else. So this looks really good, um, but the thing you will notice right away is there is not a lot of detail below the surface layer. So as you notice here, there is really nothing below this uh, top here, really nothing at all. Um, versus here, you get a little bit of creep, you get a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Definitely something to include, but it's kind of also important to have a little bit of data right there as well. Again, we're making an overhead map, we're not focused on the 3D model. Um, if you want to make 3D models or 3D maps, I'll include a link to Aerial Model, my model generation service, and you can take a look. But I think this looks really good, it does a really good job, like details overhead. I think it looks really good from just like a surface level. So if we download the, um, let's do the overhead map real quick. Um, it's going to download that. And we're going to let that download real quick. And as you can see here, this looks really good. Um, let's see, so we take a look here, there is a lot of detail, this is a freshly mowed uh, baseball stadium and as you can see here there's not really any point you can tell that it's stitched, it looks really good by just doing that. Um, I did a I think 10 meter distance between pictures and just a square pattern using the, the paid uh, waypoint map features and that looks really good. If you want to know how to use Waypoint Map and like a full tutorial, I'll include a link to that in the description as well. You can check that out. If you want to view this picture or the 3D model itself that it generated, I'll include a link to that also um, to this website here. Also in the description, so you can check it out. But I think overall, I'm very pleasantly impressed with this. It looks really good. I'm really happy with how the stuff kind of on the corners turned out. As you can see, there's a little bit of some issues here, but that's because we really didn't fly over that at all. The places that we focused on, like up here, look really good. The roof looks really good. I'd argue this model is really good as well. Um, you probably want to do some more uh, angled shots if you wanted a better 3D model. But overall, very happy with the results. A very clean looking picture. And I definitely could say that you know you could do this on a much larger scale and get a better map of what you know this location looks like. Yeah, there's a little bit of an issue, but overall, very, very good. Very happy, very nice looking uh, map overhead. So, yeah, I think that looks really good. Again, I'll include links to everything that you need. Um, take a deeper look at this in the description. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.